What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, we are back here with another video. Now, before you do anything, go to press that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you are new to my channel. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. And as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, I will be showing you how to create a four-way Grim Reaper lockdown build on NBA 2K25. Now, y'all know if I post a video out there for a build, the build not finna be too bad. Now, in order to make this build, you want to put the position at small forward. Because y'all know small forward kind of do get the best badges for a lockdown. You really don't want to be a shooting guard more so too much because you need to be big kind of and you need to play like a big position that's why i chose small four height six six weight 236 wingspan seven foot two now for the stats on this build i am going to keep adjusting the stats for this build but just follow me come on walk with me real quick you feel me now i went right to the shooting and i put the three-pointer at a 77 as you guys do know in this game the shooting is very kind of weird on this game so it really depends on how you're going to shoot with this build some people saying use the right stick for rhythm shooter which is the best way to green all of your shots if you want to learn it and adjust that way you can use it me personally personally personal purpose i will be using the square button i don't know about rhythm shooting too much i haven't really been on the game really too much really but more so from the tweets i've been seeing and the community feedback Shooting with square is kind of difficult this year because 2K did make it to where you aren't going to green multiple shots in a row. Now, what I mean by they aren't going to let you green multiple shots in a row, it's only because they don't want people making too many shots. So they changed the green window for some of the shots. So that's really more so why the shooting is like that. Now, for the defensive side, put the steal at a 97 on this build. It might look like that right now, but I did put it at a 97 for the final of it. And I put the perimeter at a 96. So once you unlock your cap breakers, you can put two on the steal, which makes that a 99. And you can put three on the defense, so perimeter defense, which also makes that a 99. So you use your three and your two. You have Hall of Fame, perimeter defense, which is challenger and probably other things. And then you have Hall of Fame, pickpocket, and not Hall of Fame, but legend pickpocket and legend interceptor and legend challenger if i didn't say it already so yeah that's more so what i did for that for the defense so you still six six get the legend badges all you got to do is unlock it on starter four and you can really get double rep really easy on this game there's a way in micro where you can get the gold jersey or the dynasty jersey after simming like a couple seasons there's a method on that once you follow those methods if i post a video on it i'm not sure if i'm gonna post a video on it just yet but if i do or if you cannot find it it's on youtube there so it's out there that have already made the build or that have the jersey that can get you double rep which will help you unlock cap breakers a lot easier than usual now for the physicals i went 83 speed i want to be a fast lockdown 86 agility you need to be fast 85 strength they won't be able to bully you get i think oh i think gold if you get gold immovable forces so guards aren't really going to be able to just go past you for real you will be able to bump with them and with you can bump with them plus once you get the cow breakers for legend glove is going to work wonders on your build they're not going to be able to go past you and you still get the legend glove so you can rip them if their ball handle is not up to par or if it's not really above gold really so you really can get the advantage on that and so you, i put the vertical at 61 so you will be able to get rebounds on this build just a little bit now i am going to tweak it where you can get the defensive rebound to an 80. don't worry about finishing more so so much in this game because people use finishing on lockdown but all you need to do is really just be able to dunk just a little bit not a lot just a little bit because if you dunk a lot that means you're going to need just a little bit more ball handle when you're driving to the rim you're really not going to need that because you are a lockdown at the end of the day so you're really not driving to the rim because you really don't have the speed with ball to drive to the rim for real but as you can see i did tweak it where you get 80 defensive rebound where you do get silver rebound chase and now that is good for you because you're six six gonna be playing the two at this position so i mean it's really not bad the center have a high rebounding you'll have a little bit of rebounding so you can help him on the box out. or if he can get the rebound you will be able to help him get the rebound now the shades of this build ron artes og and Jaden mick daniels now once you complete everything the title of this build 
should come out to a three and D win. Now, if you like content like this, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos, tutorials, tips, gameplay, all that. It's been your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. We still out here grinding, like always. I'm still gonna upload. This might not be as much, but I'm gonna upload. And I'm out, man. Peace.